Okay, mic check, yep, everything's working. All right, so today, I'm still on the Bender puzzle on codinggame.com, and I have been, um, well, refactoring some of the code I had, um, and I was using, I was trying to use the uh, state uh, design pattern figured it was too complicated because there is just way too many states in this puzzle and I would have ended up with like a gabillion zillion uh, subclasses and so right now I just kind of went back to writing it with a bunch of if and switch statements not quite done refactoring it so as of right now I can't get the um, first test case to work getting an error and I have decided I've been putting this off for a while because I've been doing uh, I've been doing um, um, easy puzzles on code and game mostly I think I might have done like one or two hard or medium this one is medium and it's quite long there's I mean there's a lot of code and there's a lot of conditionals and and it's the thing with code and game is that if you want to, if there's a bug, if something doesn't work and you're trying to figure it out, it's not easy to do. You kind of have to do, you know, console log uh, debugging, which is okay when it's like small functions and small, easy puzzles. But when you get into complicated stuff with a lot of conditionals and it, it gets to be a pain, you really wish you could use the debugger. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to set things up in my project so that I can actually uh, debug this thing. And it's going to require, well, it shouldn't be too hard to do, but um, we basically, oh, let, let me bring that back here. So for this puzzle, for instance, this is, uh, okay, so this is the input that we're getting from coding game line by line so we're getting a line with string 5 a space a string 5 then we're getting this line then we're getting this line so you get the idea so I need to uh, make my test so that we can basically uh, give the function inputs line by line shouldn't be too hard. I just have to set it up. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's do this. So first thing I'll do is install Jest. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Nope. Here I want to do it in my bender one project. Okay, and PMI just oh yeah, but this is a TypeScript project, so I'm going to need let's see what am I gonna need? I'm gonna need jest, I'm gonna need TS jest, I'm gonna need uh, uh, the jest Types, uh, yep, just types, I think. Hugo. I think I might need TS node as well. Yeah. Let's go with that. I might as well look at a project. Nope. I had, I think, set up a project for this kind of testing. So I might as well use that. Can I just copy paste? Nope. Can I drag it in? Yep. 
Okay, cool. And let's see. Let's take a look at what we had in here. We had, we had, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so yeah. I guess I remembered what, what I needed. Good. What else? That's pretty much it. Might need to look at this here. Oh yeah. Going to need this as a config. Now should I put that? What do I have in here? I've got nothing. Oh, workspace folder, that's all. Hmm. This might be a problem. might be a problem because I have my repo is like the entire thing mm-hmm let me okay so let's see Might be able to use this. I don't know much about these config options. So far with VS Code, I've pretty much just been copying, you know, other people's configurations and never really paying attention to what everything does. Winner! <laughs> so I doubt that, okay, this is probably, this is probably going to run all tests that I might have in any of these projects. Or packages, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, because I have, uh, This is one repo, but in terms of like NPM packages, each folder is an NPM package with its own package.json. And now this is asked this is actually looking at the workspace folder, which would be code and game. Looking for a node modules uh, folder, and there isn't one. So that's going to be a problem. Windows program. Absolute path to the program generated value is guessed by looking at package.json and opened files. Yeah, but it's not generated. I copied that in, so. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to write a test file. I'm just gonna call it main test.ts. Just gonna do a simple test. Simple test. And we're going to say expect 
haven't used just in a while. Expect. Uh, what are my options here? Da, da, da. Okay, yeah. Let's expect. Right. Expect 13 to be greater than 1. Let's go with that. Let's see what happens. If I hit F5. Attribute program does not exist. Yes, figure that much. So I need to get into what? How do I get into current file, args relative file? Workspace root, workspace folder. Might have to look at some docs here, folks. VS Code, uh, well, what is that called? Launch.json, yeah, okay, so launch. Where was I? Okay, let's go to launch.json. JSON. Debugging, introduction to debugging, debug no JS apps, bu, 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 using launch JSON. Let's go with this. Start debugging, debugging view, debugging menu, launch configuration. That's what we're interested in. In your workspace project root folder or in your user settings or workspace settings. Uh, version type request program file. Oh, okay. I need to know what these things are. Where do I go to figure this out? Launch versus attach configurations. In VS Code, there are two core debugging modes launch and attach, which handle two different workflows and segments of the depending on your workflow, it can be confusing to know what type of configuration is appropriate for your project. Uh, yeah, what are we using here? We're using launch. If you come from a browser developer tools background, you might. might not be used to launching from your tool since your browser instance is already open. When you open DevTools, you're simply attaching DevTools to your open browser tab. On the other hand, if you come from a server or desktop background, it's quite normal to have your editor launch your process for you. And your editor automatically attaches its debugger to the newly launched process. Okay, the best way to explain the difference between launch and attach is think of a launch configuration as a recipe for how to start your app in debug mode before VS Code attaches to it. While an attach configuration is a recipe for how to connect VS Code's debugger to an app or process that's already running. Okay, so I guess we're using launch. Yep, yep, yep. That's good. I know about these things. Ah, here we go. Attributes. Type. Node. We're good. Request. The request type of this. Launch or attach. Name. Whatever we want to call it. Now. Program ex executable or file to run when launching the debugger. So what are we actually launching? Jest. We're launching Jest. And Jest, when launched, looks at this. It's using these presets 
test environment node how does just know to do its thing though on let's see if I look at what I add here in the package.json I just add a test just thing here so maybe I should add that sure if it'll make a difference but whatever all right what else do we have args arguments passed to the program I don't think we're passing anything I don't think we need to oh yeah run in band so it doesn't finding dependencies in other files. Now that may be something we look, need to look at. What kind of console to use are we? Yeah, integrated terminal. Okay. Variable substitution. VS Code makes commonly used path and other values available as variables and supports. Variable substitution inside strings in launch.json. This means that you do not have to use the absolute path. Blah, blah, blah. Work folder gives you the root for path of our workspace. No. File the file open in the active editor, which could be handy. Invert name, the environment variable name. Okay, so maybe what I should be looking at is this here. Oh, okay, I think this is just an like standard generated thing. I was to try to just let me add another config here. See if we can kind of we're gonna call this just current file. Let's see if we can get that to work. So essentially what I want is to be able to press F5 and this little smart thing here is going to figure out which files open, find the corresponding test file in all of this stuff and run 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 it would that work hmm well we'll never know if we don't try it but first maybe we should sh make sure that we are able to run all tests in the whole How'd that work though? We need we need to install just like in the global project and I don't really want to do that. Although although it might be the easiest and smartest thing to do. Instead of installing just in every one of these projects. Hmm. Why don't we try that? 
see what happens. So let's just go npm install the. So what did we need? We need a jest. We need a t uh, ts jest. We needed. We needed TypeScript too. Then we needed <clears throat> Oh yeah, types. Also use a global install. Don't know if I like that idea though. Let's keep reading our file is the open file. So what do I have? Workspace folder, file, environment variable. There's got to be other options. Sure, there's other options. Oh, variable references. There we go. Ah, okay. Following predefined variables are supported. Workspace folder, workspace folder base name, relative file currently open file reserve, relative to workspace folder, file base name. Open files during it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff that you, you can. Okay, what seems to be the problem here? No such file or directory projects, code and game package. Oh, yeah, because I didn't initialize it like a retard. So let's say I wanted to run tests on my current file. I had main.ts open, or the test file maybe. How would I make that? Okay, so first I need to call the program from the correct so it wouldn't be a workspace folder, we would be using, is there a current folder or, let's see, the path of the folder opened in VS Code, the name of the folder opened in VS Code without any slashes, relative file name, current open ba files base name, current open files dir name, Current open files extension. The 
task runner's current working directory on startup. The path to the running VS code. The current selected text in the active. Wow, oh, that's cool. Okay. So if I was to use, let's see. The current open file relative to workspace folder. Now that we could, could we work with that? Let's see. Not empty. Okay, never mind. Just leave it there. Why can I empty it? It's quite strange. Whatever. This is absolute path to the program. So it needs to be an absolute path. Okay. It needs to be an absolute path. How do I get? How do I get to current open file relative to workspace folder? Okay, I think that could work. Or maybe just file. Oh no, no, it's true. Because we don't want to, we want to get the program is actually, I need to get into node modules. How the heck do I do that? I need to get into node modules from whatever folder I'm in. How do I do that? That's what I'm trying to get. And it has to be an absolute. So like it would be quite complicated and I'm back to thinking that the easiest thing to do would be to just uh, npm init coding game I don't care yeah whatever sure mm, yep okay Sure, it's okay. All right, now let's just run our install again. Make sure everything is installed properly. Maximum call stack exceeded. What? What is going on? It's getting on my nerves.
here. So another one. NPM init. I think if I could just do that. Yep, good. And then npm install dev dependencies. We need TypeScript. Well, do I really need TypeScript at the... Uh, probably not. We'll see. Just ts just and do I really care to have the types at this level? It would be nice. Why not? That way I don't have to install it anywhere else. Just TS just types. TS node as well. Okay, it worked. Good. So that's done. Now technically, technically running this should at least start up Jest. Should being the operative word here. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. running something but just run in band debugger throw error, error cat handle error from binding fs.js whatever that is not interested just stop this for now Bank robber. No, that's not what I'm interested in. And I again. Oh yeah, because it's throwing an error, so it's always going to catch it anyways. What is this thing? fs.js. The file system thing. Who's using it though? Okay, I need to pass in to just the file that I want to run tests on, I think. Let's see what the just uh, CLI. 
options. Oh, but I do have a, or I don't, that's the thing, right? Test config preset TS gist. Test environment node collect coverage true. I could probably have that at the top level. See that this that changes anything. Doesn't whatever. I pass in just the file. Just run only the tests that were specified with a pattern or file name. Path to my test.js. Okay. So looks simple enough. Should be able to pass as an argument. Uh, see. Uh, uh, relative file, I think it's called. The current open file relative to workspace, I think that's what we need. We're about to find out. Exception. Crap. Hmm. No such file or directory. Just uh, just bin package.json. JSON. Why? Why is it looking for package.json in the bin folder? Pray tell. Why would you be doing that? Just bin chest. to be a lot more complicated than I would have hoped for. Export. The 
This is all like the debugger stuff. Trying to access that file and it's not finding it. But why? Like who's, who's telling you to look for that file? This is what I don't get. JSON. Find upsync package at JSON. file name okay so here we're good this is what we're actually looking for Debugging the launch thing now. How awesome is that? Not how I wanted to spend my time. Uh, what else could I do? What are my options here? It's my problems. I need to. I need to run Jest. And I don't know how to get. Normally, I would run it from the folder itself. Current opened files dir name. What do we get? The current open files dir name. Current open files extension. This could be something here because it'll get me to, let's see, if I was here and I had this open, it would get me to source.
Oh. Workspace folder base name. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Well, I could always change it by hand. I guess. <laughs> this is starting to be a tempting option. How about we try that then? So let's say we go this workspace folder. Bender one. No modules are bin not just. Let's get our config file back in here. Yeah, I'm sure. Don't need these anymore. Let's try to not confuse whatever's going on. Still not gonna work. Yep, same stupid error that I don't understand. Looking for why is it looking for package.json in that why? We've never had this problem before. File. What if I was to just remove this, then probably won't make a difference again. Yeah, same thing. Just decided it wanted to look for package.json. And I just don't get it. Ugh. Why is nothing ever easy? Actually, it's probably just file now.
still don't quite understand what's going on here so let's try to debug this again I guess so it's throwing because it's looking for package.json somewhere where there is no package.json why is it looking for package.json let's see where Dot bin. This import local file name require just CLI bin jest. Okay. And that's fine. This we've got this here. Once you do that, you go to require this is where problems start to not yet. This here is the problem. File names package dot json. Why? Find up sync package. Why do you want? I've never had this problem using this config before in other projects. So how can I try to figure out what's going on here? I have an idea. Let's open folder. So we know it works in here. It should anyways using the exact same config, pretty much anyways. If I am to go F5, wow, attribute program does not exist. What? Oh, it's not installed. PM install, go to town. See? Works. No stupid errors. Now, unless I'm crazy, I don't think there's a package.json in the jest bin folder. So how would I go about comparing the whole workflow here? How can I start the debugger? the very start of this thing. Let's see, debug. Start debugging. Pause. Right away. Maybe. I don't know. No. It didn't work. <laughs> I would have 
to somehow find. Okay, let's see. Let's go back here. Five. Let me get our stupid error. Node internals. FS.js read only more core module. But really the problem happens. Where does it happen? Here. Here. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Package dear index.js. Render node module package tier index.js. Okay. So let's go set a breakpoint here. right here. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, now, test that pin. Just been so it's inside that function that the problem happens. Debug this side by side and compare. That might allow me to figure out what the difference is. Okay. All right. So, the module's just been so far so good. Now if I step into let's step over the modules just up in, yeah. Okay, step over, root to C, yeah, step over. So far so good over ah interesting 
and this is where it happens. Let's try that again. Oh, well, that's new. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So step into, step over, over, and I think our problem is here. Not yet, so far we're good. screens here try to figure out what's going on so yeah back is JSON options options just stop in yeah they're both looking for the same thing if I step over step over Jason, if path exists, sync path resolve. Blah blah blah. Okay, we're getting closer. We are getting closer. Stepping into, we're stepping over, we're stepping into, and let's set another breakpoint here. Set another breakpoint here. Okay, so what are we doing here? So let's step in. We're going to pinpoint the exact source of this problem. <laughs> so far, it looks like we're still looking for both, both for the same thing. Our arguments seem to work. Yeah, chess.bin. Package.json. Okay, let's keep going. Back in. JSON package that JSON base name internal location 
Action. Scopes. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we're getting deep here. I don't think the problem is going to be at that level. Jason in Jason. Yeah. Validate path. Still with the package dot JSON inside the just bin. Yeah, good. Pass that, pass that. God, this is boring. too deep. And all error from binding CTX. Yeah. Context. So we're having 
having the same thing happening here so far. directory access oh it looks like it's gonna throw that error on both sides Stack trace. We're exactly in the same place. Throw error. Catch return false. Ha! Oh, that's interesting. Hard. Oh boy, sometimes. I think it's because I had all exceptions <laughs> ticked. <laughs> Kill me now. All of that. Because... So let's see if this works now. Oh, I've got to get rid of these. Let's try again. We get something. Could not find a config file based on provided values. Path document projects code in game. And where do you get these values from, mister? Directory is given just will try to traverse directory tree up until it finds either just a config.js or package.json. Okay. At least we're getting somewhere now. just.config here. Why do you not see it? Cannot 
define a config file based on provided values path projects coding game where do you get that path from that's what I'd like to know that's the CWD probably okay I hear you so let's just let's put it there see what happens see if you like that better you do see user coding game 75 files checked test match zero matches one match pattern just configure to yes, zero matches for the debugger to disconnect if I was to do this this would work I think please work hmm Coding game base source main test. How do you not have a test a, a, a match work for that? What if I just don't pass anything? See what happens. To load the module TypeScript using TSJets requires this package to be installed. Well, yes. Isn't it installed? It is. It's probably looking for it in the
I can't. Preset TS just is invalid. The ID argument must be type struct receive type object and uh, the ID argument. Oh yo yo yo. Okay, try this again, okay, finally, now what expect, I cannot find test, name test, do you need to install type definitions, yeah, I do, I do need to do that, sorry, so types, Okay, and just... Alright, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to run this. Whenever I'm going to press F5, it'll run all tests in the coding game. Um, folder, so for all the solutions. But, what I can do, and had I thought about this earlier, we could have saved some time is that you can, with Jest, you can, what is it, let's see, there's a flag you can put in front of your tests to say just run this one test please and ignore all the other ones. Just object, no, expect no. Globals, yes. Test. Only, that's the one. Test dot only. But if you can just add an F in front, right? 
Oh no, I guess that's just for the it. It doesn't work with the test. Oh, that's too bad. So I need to add dot only. But whatever, still. For now, that's the only test we have, so let's try running this thing. Please work. Yes, okay. Okay, we're in the business. So I'm gonna call all of that. Let's see. Oh, that is going to be set up testing. Okay. Now, <laughs> we can actually get to do some testing. What do we need to do? We need to take our inputs here. This will be send to ID. I don't think I want to do that. Okay. This will be our simple moves test case. Test case simple moves. And now what we're going to do, how are we going to test this? We need to Well, first, we're going to need to wrap all of this in a function. Well, what I mean all of this, really, it just needs to be... all of this. We'll just go ahead and call this export main equals function is this that uh, oh yeah oh, how am I gonna test this read line to mock some stuff here. Basically, read line is a function that returns a string. That's what we need to mock. I simply pass in read line and I can probably kind of emulate this whole thing. Might need to look up the docs for just for mocking. Well, let's keep it here for now. So if I make... Hey, what's up, stream working? I'll just make this a... Yeah, we'll call it main. It's a function, we'll call in pass in a read line function of type well, type this turns a string yeah, simple as 
that this put that on here Okay, now this should allow us to pass in something. So what's up, stream working? good to spend an hour and a half trying to figure out how to set up testing in this project <laughs> but now it does it works so I'm actually uh, writing a test here I gotta try to figure out how to mock am I a professional developer uh, I would say no although I have been paid for doing a little bit of software development so I don't know but at the moment, not really. Doing it as a hobby, mostly. I would like it to become my main source of income and activity. You mainly stream video editing and motion graphics animation, so this is cool to see. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, video editing is really cool. Motion graphics, though, that's pretty cool too. So you're interested in coding a little bit? I'm, I'm guessing if uh, if you're here. Oh, is the music too loud? Sure, I can. How's that? Is that better? Can you hear me? No problem. How long have I been working on this? Uh, this is just a little puzzle on a website called Code and Game. Here, let me just uh, give you the link again if you want to look it up. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's. It's a well, I would say complex. There's many moving parts in this in this puzzle. The idea is that you are. It's based on the um, the show Futurama, and you're basically your bender, the robot, and you're in a city, which is represented by this here. That's a small example. And bender needs to go from this point here to this point here, but you know there's all kinds of obstacles that changes um, his behavior and you need to account for all of that and the reason why I've I was setting up uh, a quick way to test here in my project is because normally um, to debug oh I don't want to get too technical though if you're not do you, do you do any coding at all or don't want to bore you with the details if uh... you work with programmers oh cool I hope <laughs> I hope it's cool I hope they're nice where do you work or what kind of work do you do if you don't want to reveal too much personal information? Oh, nice. Video production company and a startup for creative streamers. So what I need to do is mock this. How does that work in Jest again? I'm gonna have to look that up. Am 
I interested in co-working, meeting more game devs with your while you're working? Maybe. Don't really know what that would entail. I'm always up for meeting new people, I guess. So my answer would be, it depends. I'm open to hearing more about uh, your proposal. <laughs> Start a site for creative streamers with the idea we can all learn faster from each other by sharing our work and process. I'm willing to take a look. Feel free to paste in the uh, the URL in the chat. Watch me work if you want to check it out. Yeah, I will, definitely. That is a promise. All right, so what do I need to do here to mock this thing? I haven't done that in a while. Mock function, blah, blah, blah about this year. Using a mock function. Let's imagine we're testing an item information function for each, which invokes a callback for each item in a supplied array. To test this function, we can use a mock function and inspect the mock state to ensure the callback is invoked as expected. Oh yeah, okay, I remember now. Just dot .fn, I think, is what we need. So, let's say... One of the problems with creative streaming is it can get lonely even on Twitch, so we created a pairing system that auto-pairs you with another creative streamer, so you can all you always have someone to co-work with and bounce ideas off of. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to look into that. Yep, yeah, I'll, I'll check that out for sure. So just dot .fn Create a mock function optionally takes a mock implementation. So that would return a mock, right? Returns a mock, creates a mock function optionally. Takes a mock implementation. Yeah, and that's what we want to do, I guess. We want to... Now here's the thing, though. This just takes it in one line at a time. So how do I test it by feeding the entire thing? Or maybe I don't. Can I actually call this with the parameter const? Uh, mock. Let's call that. And if I go mock dot, what do I have here? Mock mock return value mock clear mock return provides access to the mock metadata. Mock implementation mock return value once. Am I interested in freelance projects too? I'm open to them. I'm open to them. But I would have to say that I'm kind of picky. I do have my own business. I, am, I have a real estate business that, that is doing really well, which is a problem in a way because it's preventing me from trying to make the plunge into um, into actual software development. 
So we're building a system to show freelance projects to streamers based on what they're streaming. Interested. Yep, I'll look into it for sure. All right, what I want to do, I need to bring in this main export, call it main. So if I am to do the test here, I would do main. Then I pass in read line. So I need a function that will output a string every time it's called and that string has to be different every time it's called. That's kind of an interesting interesting uh, interesting thing to do. Streaming on the calendar to become a featured streamer. Um, sure. You can send me details on streaming on the calendar to become a featured streamer, sure. Go right ahead. You whispered. Okay. Gotta check that out. Okay, cool. So, uh, let me send you, there you go. Sounds good. Gonna be done with this stream in about 15 minutes. If you know a good t if you know a good day and time to stream, example Tuesdays at noon, let me know and I can add you and send the getting started materials. Okay, I'll look into that. I'll think about this. Thanks for the uh, info. Okay, so essentially what I need here is a function that returns a string every time it's being called. The thing is I need it to return a different string. And the string I need it to return or the strings I needed to return, should I say? Are these here, line by line. So, wondering what's the best way to do this. Probably shove that into an array, right? Const lines, it's gonna be an array that in here, that, and the whole thing is a string, I 
Hey man, thanks for the follow. Sent. Can I check if I got it? I will do that later. I do not check my emails when I stream. I don't even have it open. Don't want to get distracted, but whatever horrible things might have come in <laughs> while I was coding. But I will in, uh, you know, 13 minutes. I will. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. I'm not BSing you. I'm, I'll definitely look into it. Okay. So that's our lines right here. So what do we want to do? We need our function to... We can have our function keep state, right? We can, of course. So we'll do const, uh, no, actually that's going to be a let. Can we though? Is that going to work? Let's find out. Let index equals zero. So every time somebody calls a function, I have to run, but it wasn't fun hanging out here, but I'll look forward to staying in touch. Thanks for your interest and feel free to reach out with any questions. There's a number of game devs I think you'd enjoy meeting. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. work we're about to find out first let's just do read line uh, let's let's do let's do just a for loop for line of lines no how am I gonna do this just a while. No, don't like it. Just, okay, so let i equal zero. i is smaller than five. i plus plus. Let's do that. And then we just do a read line. Boom. Console log, actually. And let's run our test. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, because the function won't keep the state here. I don't know what I, what I was thinking. I could just put it outside. Put all of these outside of it. Right, Kern? Well, just that, really. The rest can stay here, I believe. Let's run our test again. Yep, 
Yeah, so now we, we've got it. We got it. Nope, we're missing one. One. Oh, we're not. It's just it. Let's do it again. And here we go. How about that? Two hours to get testing set up properly. Love it. This should really be inside our test case because it will be different depending on the test case. Okay, so that's set up. Now we can just pass main. Uh, read line function. That we can just pass in there. And technically, Well, we're not testing, actually, the only one that, the only thing I really want to do is be able to debug this thing, which I should now be able to do. So for instance, if I am to, or let's do this, running this, getting in there on line 44, Right. Cannot read property one of undefined. Why? That is the question. So let's figure it out. Can get rid of those console log. This here is our problem. Now we can just go and do F5. When we get to it, it just went straight through why it makes me sad TypeScript diagnostics property from does not exist on type array constructor what you lie what are you talking about oh wait is that some sort of uh, let's see Nope, should work. Let's see if I uh, copy, paste. Did that work? Doesn't look like it does. Copy, paste. Okay. Let's see what happens. Read line is not defined. Okay. You're not going to make this easy, are you? So then we'll just call it something else. Read. Wait, why would it... Hmm. Why would say read line is not defined? Yeah, that's... I was going to say that doesn't change anything. It's supposed to be... Let's see here. This we failed to run reference error. Read line is not defined. Main.ts. 
Maybe not test that TS one one. Another thing I need to figure out, why isn't TypeScript why isn't TypeScript what's what's the problem here, buddy? Read line is not defined. Well, it is. I'm declaring it here. Well, I guess it's not def. Well. no reason why this would well that's going to be something to figure out for next time because I have to go yep just need to figure out why it's not transpiling we're almost there we're almost there Finish that this afternoon or tomorrow morning. I'm out. Take care. See you around.